Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here then hello my name is Lucy Welcome. So today I'm switching things up a bit and instead of filming one of my bright, colourful Instagram looks, I decided to do something that's quite highly requested over on my Instagram and I decided to film my go-to night out glam. So this is quite a heavy glam look with a dark and smoky eye, but this is the sort of look I would do if I'm running low on time or if I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear as this sort of eye look will go with anything really. Although this is something quite different to my usual tutorial tutorials... I really hope you guys enjoy it anyway and please make sure to smash the thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel below. Without further ado, if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. So as per usual, I have already done my eyebrows off camera and I've already primed my eyes using my P. Louise base in the shade number 1. When I'm ready to go on a night out, if I don't have too much time on my hands, my usual go-to glam is just a brown smoky eye with a bit of glitter on the lid. If I have a bit more time on my hands, I'll add a winged liner, but most of the time I just go for a sharp winged out line with some tape, so that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. My favourite palette to use when I'm getting ready for a night out or getting ready to go to an event is always the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette because there is so much you can do with it, it's very versatile and you can make it as heavy or as soft as you would like. I'm just beginning with the darkest shade in this palette named Cypress Umber and I'm going to just pack that on my lid with a flat shader brush. Everybody's listening now, oh, we got nothing to lose. When I met you in the summer. Just before we blend that shade out, I'm going in with my micropore tape just along the edge of my eye so that it gives a defined line when we come to blending the shadows out. Um, looking at the palette, I've just realised that I said Cypress Amber was the darkest colour in the palette, not noticing that there's actually a black next door, so that was incorrect, I apologise for that. It's the second darkest colour in the palette. Now on my makeup addiction, controlled blender brush, I'm going in with the shade Rustic and I'm just going to start blending out that dark brown we've already put down on the lid. Just a quick little blending tip, I always like to hold the brush close to the end and I always like to hold it with my little finger sticking out which you may find is very strange but it helps to apply less pressure to the brush and when you're blending you want to be going in back and forth windshield wiper motions and also circular motions to get the nicest blend possible. Especially when you're working with dark colours it's so important to put as little pressure on the brush as possible so that your blend comes off nice and smooth and doesn't leave any sharp lines. Then with my Makeup Addiction Diffused Blender Brush I'm picking up the shades Burnt Orange and Orange Soda and I'm going to blend them on top to show a transition between the colours. Just before I go in with a pigment all over my eyelid, I'm just going to take the shade Sultry, which is a dark brown shimmer shade from the same soft glam palette, all over my eyelid to get ready for that pigment on top. Now you could just finish the eyes here and leave it as it is, but for me I just want a little bit more, so I'm going in with a mixture of the two peaches and cream pigments in the shade Gold Fever and and Wild West all over where we just put down that shimmer shade. Just to ensure that those pigments are going to pop as much as I want them to, I'm going in first with a little bit of the Peaches and Cream Glitter Primer all over that area to make sure that the pigments are going to last all night long. You want to make sure that you're leaving that glitter primer to settle into your eyes for a few seconds before you start to put the pigments on, otherwise the pigments tend to cling to the eyeshadow underneath and it looks a little bit patchy and unblended. Now that the eyeshadow is complete, I'm going to go ahead and pop on some mascara and some lashes and I'll be back in a sec. I do advise that if you're using lashes which have a dark lash band, that you put a little line of eyeliner on before you stick your lashes on so that it hides the lash band. But if you're using ones with a clear lash band, then it doesn't really matter. 
Okay, my lashes are now on. These are the Lashes by Lucy Lashes in the style Minx. I'm now just starting on my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer again, just around my nose and around my cheek area before going in with my foundation. So for this time of year where it's actually really hot and humid outside, I don't really want anything full coverage on my face. So what I do is I go in with a liquid illuminator, I take the Benefit High Beam for this and I like to mix it with my foundation to give me a more luminous look rather than a full coverage look. The foundations I'm going to take today to mix with my Benefit High Beam Illuminator are my Revlon Colorstay and my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. Like I said in my last video, I like to mix these two together to give me the nicest finish on my skin. Then to conceal underneath my eyes, I'm taking the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Zero Extra Fair. Bitch, I ain't saying that double. Fourth quarter, I'm coming down and picking up with y'all fumble, yeah. Yeah, I built my legacy with no one. Up at night, in my stack, I can show me. Then I'm just setting that all in place with powder before I start to crease. No one, me, myself, and I, fuck them, they ain't showing up. So, going under the lower lash line, I'm taking the exact same shades I used on the top in the exact same order, just underneath my eye. So for my bronzer slash contouring today, I'm gonna take the Morphe 9C Contour and Highlight Kit, and I'm just gonna run my brush through the bottom three shades and take them through my cheekbones, along my jawline, and above my forehead. And again for highlighter, I'm taking my Morphe slash Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise palette and taking the top two, nope, these two, these two shades right here. To complete the look, I'm just gonna finish with the lips. So I've just outlined my lips with a deep nude lip liner and now I'm gonna go in with the Peaches and Cream lip gloss in the shade Sisterhood on top. To be completely honest with you guys, when I go on a night out, I actually never really wear lipstick. I just put on a little bit of lip balm because I hate the way that lipstick feels, especially when you're drinking drinks all night and it starts to flake off and it just feels a bit horrible on my lips. So I just prefer not to wear any, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss on for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna highlight my collarbones. Why not? Why not? So guys, here is my finished night out glam look. I mean, like I said, this isn't what I wear all the time on a night out. Sometimes it depends on what outfit I'm wearing, but if I haven't really got a lot of time on my hands, this is my go-to sort of look I would do. I feel like you can't really go wrong with a smoky brown eye, and also it's very complimentary of any eye color, so anyone could suit a look like this if you're going for something a bit more dramatic. Obviously this look is more of a sort of heavy and dramatic glam as opposed to a soft glam look, but please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me do a more wearable or soft glam night out look because I can also do that for you if you wanna see it. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Thank you so much as always for watching. I really appreciate all the support and please leave it a thumbs up and a comment below if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to obviously subscribe if you wanna see more videos in the future. Please also make sure to check out my Instagram if you haven't already. My username is at LSG Makeup. I'd really love to see you guys over there. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.